guys. I'm so excited to talk with you some more about Paul. Uh, we're going to be reading today in Acts 27. We're going to be reading about when Paul set sail for Rome. But there's an interesting thing about that. Paul wasn't going to Rome by himself. You see, Paul was telling people all over the place about Jesus. Everywhere he went, he was telling people about how Jesus saved him and how Jesus died on the cross and the story of how he could change their lives. And some people listened to Paul. Some people believed in Jesus and what he could do. But a lot of people didn't believe. A lot of people didn't want Paul telling them about Jesus or telling other people about Jesus. And so Paul got in trouble with the leaders who did not want the, him to tell them about who Jesus was and what Jesus could do for them. So Paul got in trouble with the religious leaders of the day simply because he was trying to give people the hope of Jesus that he had found. So Paul ended up setting sail for Rome on a ship with a bunch of other prisoners because Paul was going to go and talk to Caesar. And while they were on that boat, there was a great big storm. And the sailors and the prisoners were terrified. But Paul was not terrified. And we can read in verse 23 why he was not terrified. So he started talking to the men that were on the boat. And he says, for this very night, there stood before me an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I worship. And he said, do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. And behold, God has granted you all those who sail with you. And so Paul tells the men after that, he says, so take heart, men, for I have faith in God that it will be exactly as I have been told. But we must run aground on some island. Well, 14 nights, this storm raged on and on and on. The men were terrified. But Paul was not because Paul knew that he had had a promise from God that though the ship may be broken apart, not a man's life would be lost that was on that ship. And Paul knew that he worshiped a God who kept his promises. We see all the way back in Genesis, at the very beginning of the Bible, and all the way through the Old Testament, how God has made promise after promise after promise to his people. And every single time God has made a promise, he has kept his promises. He has been faithful forever and ever to his people. And Paul knew that this was a God that he served that kept his promises. So he was not afraid. Well, after the 14th night of this storm, they saw land. They thought that they were going to be saved. But it wasn't because God was going to save them. They thought they were going to be saved because there was the land. Do you know what happened? The ship hit the reed. And it got stuck and the waves were battering the ship over and over and over. And the ship was stuck. It couldn't get away from the waves. And the waves tore the boat apart. So there's planks and there's boards and there's people trying to get away. And so some of the men were able to swim to the land that they saw. Some of the men had to get on the planks and the boards from the broken ship that was breaking around them and get on the land. But do you know what? Every single person on that ship made it to that land safely. Every single one made it to the island. And it's because God was keeping his promise. God said not a man will be lost. And he kept that promise. Now what he didn't promise Paul was that the ship was going to just have sailing water that was going to be perfect. He did not promise Paul that the storm was going to stop. He promised Paul that he was with him and that even in the midst of the storm and even in the midst of the ship being broken apart, that the men would be brought safely to land. And God kept his promise. Just like he'll keep his promise to us that he will never leave us or forsake us. It would be easy, be easy for us when bad things happen and we feel like we are stuck in storms and we can't see the land and all this is going on in our life and we don't know what to do, it would be easy for us to be afraid. But I pray for all of us that we can be like Paul and we can know that the God who has promised to always be with his children will keep that promise. 
and that we will never be forsaken by God and that we will never lose the love of God because in Romans it says that there is nothing that can separate us from God's love and I pray that you know that deep in your heart today that no matter what that nothing can separate us from God's love if we are his children so I pray that you know that deep in your soul and can praise God for that just like Paul was able to praise God when he kept his promise to save all the people on that ship so this morning you've got a ship to make this is about what it's going to look like when you're done with it if you've got a, a paper plate boot in your bag it's already got the picture of the boot with the waves on it and you can color it and decorate it however you want to and then you've got your little sail that you can add that reminds you where in the bible the story is so you can go back and read it whenever you want to and then you can just attach it to your boat if you don't have one it's just a piece of it's just a paper plate that we cut in half and then you can draw your boat in the water and just have a good time remembering that story i can't wait to see you guys and i hope that you enjoyed this and next week we're going to keep talking about what happened to paul when he made it to that island and it's a very exciting and a very fun story and i think you're going to love that so i hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you next time love you all bye